Hey guys, super fast video today uh, for two reasons. One, because I filmed this already yesterday and lost all the footage. And two, because uh, it came out at like 40 minutes long explaining every piece of gear and it was just overkill. So I'm gonna keep this just the, the bare essentials. Um, and I guess third reason is because uh, the sun today is insane. So I'll, I'll show you. Okay, so this is just like some tips for race day. Um, the Tarawira race is coming up in like a week or two. There's probably a lot of people doing it. I'm hoping a few people will watch this. It might jog people's uh, memories or there's something they haven't thought about for race day um, from previous experience. I'll just get straight into it. Tip number one, bring sunglasses. If it's a bright day, you're out there for 12 hours or something, it can be extreme on your eyes. It's, a, it's really nice to have sunglasses. They don't weigh very much. You can strap them in a pocket if you don't need them. Um, but if you do need them, you'll be so thankful you brought them. Um, and you'd have to worry about them getting broken in a drop bag or something like that. So it's nice to have with you. Two, um, make sure you've got some kind of head covering. I usually go with a buff, um, which you can turn into a skull cap. Um, if you don't know how to do that, you just turn it into a tube on your arms. You grab one side, grab the other side, pull it through, and you'll get a skull cap that you can cover your head. If you're like mine with short hair, you'll get burnt really quickly without one of those. So that can be a handy thing. Next tip take some toilet roll, a little half, you know, half a roll, a bog roll, a quarter roll, something like that, just in the backpack. Um, it's just, it's a useful thing to have if you get caught out or, you know, if you get to the toilets and there's a no bog roll, or whatever, it's always a handy thing to have some toilet roll with you. I take it on all my training runs, just put it in a sandwich bag or something like that. Keeps it, um, keeps it dry if you need it. Next tip, um, if you're running with some sort of edibles like chews, uh, packets, you know, gels, things like that, maybe not so much with gels, but like certainly the chews, um, the energy sweets, things like that, you might want to take a pair of scissors and put a slight nip in the top of them just to slightly cut them open because I found on some of my long runs, you get so tired. It can be really hard to open some of them if they're quite thick plastic. It can be, um, you know, even with your teeth, it can be tricky. So I always put like a little cut in the top of mine. Um, it just makes opening them a lot easier on the day. Uh, next tip, if you can get some like dry bags, I use Exped dry bags. Um, there, you get them from Bivouac Outdoors, places like that. Get some small ones. I put a, a small one in the center part of my running vest and another one around the lumbar area. Um, I put everything inside dry bags or inside sandwich bags, Ziploc bags. Um, it keeps everything dry and you know, you don't get sweat over everything. You don't have to like dry everything out when you get home. It's, it's, it's great. I put all my um, clothing that I'm not using, windbreaker, everything even my raincoat and stuff like that will all go inside dry bags until they're obviously wet and it just keeps everything it makes sure your gear lasts a lot longer as well um, and it, it seems to stop a lot of things like digging in your back and things like that it makes it easy to pack you just put one thing in so dry bags are a, a really good way to go uh, another tip is if you can get a elevation profile for the race and print it out at like 30% size, so it's a small one about this big. You can um, put it behind your phone if you have like a clear case on your phone. So if you have like like my phone here, um, you put like a you put it in behind the clear case on your phone, and then when you're running, if you have your phone in a clear sandwich bag, you can just look at it quickly and see. Okay, I know when the hills are coming or where when the next aid station is. If you put some vertical lines on for the aid stations, it can be really handy to know while you're running where the next hills are and if you're on a flat section, things like that. It makes pacing a lot easier. Um, you can also, if you're super sneaky, you can put a credit card behind your phone as well. So your phone, credit card, and then the elevation profile. So you've always got some money on you if you need it for whatever reason. Um, I usually do that on long runs actually when I'm out training as well in case I have to get a taxi or something happens. Uh, if you're running one of the longer races like the 100K or the 100 miler, bear in mind, you're probably gonna have to charge up your watch or your foot pod or other electrical equipment on the, on the run. So decide firstly, if you're gonna do that and if you are gonna do it, how are you gonna do it? Um, you know, make sure you bring like elastic bands so you can like, connect things together and then put an elastic band on them to stop them popping up, you know, popping apart while they're in your pack or are you gonna put them in a pack or in a pocket or what? You wanna figure all that out before race day and make sure that it's actually going to charge. Um, it's also worth knowing roughly how long it takes to charge, you know, a couple of hours or an hour, how much charge you get within an hour. It's always good to know that before race day. Um, in terms of the stuff you should carry, obviously you've gotta take mandatory gear, but beyond that, um, I usually carry a little pot um, of sun cream just in case you run out between aid stations. They usually have it at the aid stations, but with the burn time so short, you're gonna need it if you get caught between two aid stations. Um, I do find a buff is quite a handy thing to have. You can put it on your head and over your ears, cover your neck in case you're burning. Um, but sun cream is worth having. Anti-chafing um, 
things is worth taking. So like uh, body glide, you can get a small pot of body glide that you can put in your pocket. They do quite small ones. You can put things like Vaseline in your drop bags. You can put um, Sudacreme, uh, which is a nappy rash stuff. That stuff is amazing for like nipple chafing and places like that. You can put that in your drop bags in small little pots. Um, you could carry it with you. And then there's Gurney Goo, which is, I haven't needed to use yet, um, and Hiker Wool, which is amazing stuff. It, you can get that from Bivouac as well. It's like a, it's just like a loose merino wool, basically, that you can put in your socks if you get like hot spots forming. It weaves in with your normal sock and uh, it just gets rid of all the chafing straight away. Um, so some sort of anti-chafing is worth having. Uh, a cramp, anti-cramping thing is worth taking. So I usually carry a couple of sachets of cramp fix and a couple of sachets of uh, salt tablets with me. And some emergency food as well. I usually take one to maybe two packets of sweets um, just in case you get between two aid stations, you run out. Um, I take these things on my training runs as well. So sun cream, anti-chafing, salt tablets, anti-cramping. I take all that stuff on my long runs as well. So for race day, it's just the exact same stuff. It all lives in my dry bag. It comes with me on race day, but it gets you out of so many problems. Um, one thing you may also want to take is a utility bag. So like a small Ziploc with uh, a shoelace, maybe one or two shoelaces. I usually take a small, I have a very small Leatherman knife um, and I have a very small screw top uh, cylinder that has a needle and thread um, and some stuff like that. And I usually put some duct tape around the outside of that cylinder. So I've got duct tape with me as well. In case your shoes break, your equipment fails, it will get you to the end. On a race day, you can probably muddle through, but it's just so much nicer if you can just, you know, duct tape something together and get to the end. Or if you're up in the mountains on a training run. Again, this is something I take with me on all my runs. So I just take it with me on race day. Oh my God, it is crazy hot out here. Okay, let's, let's hurry this up a bit. It's, I'm starting to burn. A cap is a really handy thing to have, particularly if the weather's not looking good, because if it's chucking down with rain, you can obviously wear your raincoat, but what you'll probably find is if you have a raincoat and then you also wear a cap, the cap sticks out further than the visor on your raincoat and it keeps all the rain off your, off your eyes and off your eyebrows and stuff. It keeps your face mostly dry, which is so much nicer. If it's chucking down with rain, I will always take a cap and I'll put it underneath my of my raincoat it's it's so much more enjoyable to run it also keeps you a little bit warmer as well which is nice another tip is removable arm sleeves um, you can get these from i think they sell these in bivouac as well actually it's just turning into a bivouac outdoor uh, advert at this point but um yeah you can get removable arm sleeves uh i have ones from outdoor research uh, bear in mind they run a lot larger than you think so i have the small ones i actually bought them for joe <laughs> they turn out to be um the right size for me they were way too big for joe so i wear a small but um yeah, the removable arm sleeves are great because you can, before the race, wear them, the first couple of K wear them, and as soon as you get warm, you can take them off while running. And um, if you have something like gloves with you, uh, you can get a really good combination of like gloves with no arm sleeves or arm sleeves with no gloves or both or neither. And it's, it's really good for adjusting as the day wears on. If you're, doing a run, if you're running a long race right through the night, the temperatures obviously change quite a lot. It's super handy to have arm sleeves. I have mine in a small sandwich bag. They take up almost no space. I just take, with, take them with me all the time. They go on every single run I, I run on now. Maybe not so much on a normal training run in summer, but certainly a race like Tarawira where I'm going to be running into the evening and it's going to get cold. I'll take my arm sleeves with me. Um, they also, if you have a raincoat on and it's really cold and miserable, they keep the raincoat from sticking to your arms. So it's just, it's just like having a long sleeve top, you know, it's, re it's really nice in that way. Another tip is it can be a good idea to have the GPX bar or the race directions uh, or maybe a turn-by-turn -turn navigation on your phone somewhere just in case you get lost. Tarawera is very well um, organized and signed up so it's pretty hard to get lost but there have been cases with local races, smaller races around the area where people have got lost and got themselves into serious trouble so um, it's always handy to have a GPX file on you. Um, it just, you know, it's just a peace of mind thing in case you do find yourself out in the middle of nowhere with no one around. Uh, and the last quick tip uh, is decide where you're going to put your number, how are you going to pin it to you, and are you comfortable putting pins through whatever you're planning to pin it to because you don't want to have like an expensive top and then pin it through your rain jacket or something like that, you know. You've got to think, I usually put it down on my, on my leg. Um, they usually come fairly big, but you can fold them over a bit uh, to make them smaller and put it on your leg. But you've got to be careful doing that because they have a bar down the back, which is the um, RFID scanning technology for scanning when you cross the finish line or whatever so make sure you don't fold that because you can break it 
Okay, that was a super fast bunch of race tips. Hopefully that will give you some ideas you haven't thought about. If you have any other tips yourselves, put it in the comments and maybe other people can read them. Uh, like, subscribe, all the other stuff. I've noticed that 92% of people watching our channel aren't subscribed. So if you, if you feel like subscribing, that would be amazing. And uh, I'll see you guys again. Thanks.